living a life of being transgender is it gets pretty strange because it's it, it gets to the point where you feel like you're living a double life now i was born biologically female and nowadays i do my best to live my life as a male you know because that's what that's who or you know the, the gender that i, I uh, identify with so it was last month where I got a speeding ticket and I have a court date that's on the, I believe, see I gotta check back, it's either the 22nd or the 23rd. And, uh, you know, so I was speeding because, um, and I, and I wasn't even paying attention, which, which, uh, because I had to go pee really bad and I was trying to get home because I'm like, I gotta pee, I gotta pee. And, uh, so I was going about 80 miles on, on a 65, uh, highway, 65 mile, mile per hour, uh, uh, highway. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, a cop spotted me and, uh, and it's funny because, um, since I look like a, you know, I, I appear to be a black male, which I am, but I, you know, I appear to be a black male, and, uh, you know, he, he came up to me, and this was a, this was a, this was, this was a non-white, uh, um, police officer, and, uh, you know, he came up to me, you know, I stopped, and, you know, pulled over, he came up to me, and, uh, and, uh, you know, he had this kind of tough attitude sort of, uh, demeanor, uh, and, uh, you know, me living my life as a female for all these years, for the, you know, most of my, my years, my, my instinct of, of, you know, being that helpless female, um, sort of deal kicked in automatically. And, uh, <laughs> and I wasn't like whining or bitching. It's just that, you know, my, my, my voice got a little bit higher and, you know, just kind of, you know, that, I don't want to, I mean, I don't want to offend any females, but kind of like that kind of victim complex sort of thing, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know, you know, sort of thing, and he figured out that I was a female, and his tough demeanor just suddenly disappeared, and he started to act all nice to me, and in a, in a, you know, in a respectful manner, and stuff like that, and I caught on to this, because it's like, my, uh, living my life as a, as a male, um, versus a female, you know, I catch on this stuff, I can compare, and, uh, you know, he was being nice to me and whatever, and it seemed like he was going to let me off, but, uh, he didn't, but, like, he, like, pretty much, um, in a nice way, tell me, told me the instructions on, on how to do stuff and whatever with this ticket and, and all that, and, you know, he was telling me how, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I don't have to pay or whatever or something like that. I don't know. And, uh, you know, he told me to, you know, have a nice day, you know, drive safely and, and whatever else. Wow. And, wow, I just have to say, wow. Males and females live in two different worlds. Okay. Males and females are not equal. And I don't think they will ever be because, you know, males and females are so dynamically different, you know? Um, this is not like, you know, hating on females or males or saying that one is better than the other, but I'm just talking about reality from my perspective. So, uh, um, you know, it, you know, even if I do have to pay the, uh, uh speeding ticket, I, ha I have the money to pay it, but the thing is, is that it's just so like, ah, uh, you know, it's so, it's like a waste of time. It's like, you know, you know, time is very valuable, and I have to go to this, this, this court, uh, you know, this, this court thing, and all that, but that's, that's the only thing that I'm frightened about, you know, it's, you know, it's, you know, using my time up, um, but anyways, I might do more of these, uh, double life transgender videos, um, we'll, we'll see.